Hello, my name is Shane Kimbrough, and I'm an astronaut living and working up here on the International Space Station. In this demonstration, I'll be talking about the five main senses we have and how we use them up here on the station. Let's go check them out. As humans, we have five senses that let us observe the world around us. These senses are sight, taste, smell, hearing, and touch. Our senses help us determine whether or not we like something, but they also warn us if something is wrong. Sometimes our senses pick up very good things, like the smell of fresh baked cookies or the taste of yummy pizza. Other times, our senses may warn us of danger, like the smell of something burning or the feeling of something hot. Let's go through the five senses and talk about what we may observe with them up here on the station. Sight. The sense of sight allows us to see the world around us, or in my case, space. Here on the station, one way we use our sense of sight is to see different experiments we are working on, so we can report the results back to Earth. Some astronauts have noticed that their sight changes a little after living in microgravity aboard the station. Scientists are helping to fix this by conducting research up here on astronauts like me. Taste. Our sense of taste comes from our tongue and it tells our brain what kind of food and nutrients we are putting into our body. We can tell when something is super sweet or very salty because of this. Because of fluid shifts on the space station, sometimes our noses can be a bit stuffy and it can be harder to taste food. So lots of us love to add hot sauce to many of our meals to amplify the taste. Smell. Just like with taste, sometimes our sense of smell can change up here in microgravity as the liquids in our body move around. Once our bodies have adjusted to microgravity, the space station has a very distinct smell. Hearing. In terms of hearing inside the space station, there is constant noise coming from the different machines that keep our air flowing and the experiments running. Our sleeping quarters block some of the noise though, so we're able to get a good night's sleep each night. What do you think you would hear outside the space station? Well, you better be wearing a spacesuit, so you'd be hearing the fan noises inside the spacesuit. But if somehow you were able to be outside of that spacesuit, you would hear absolutely nothing, because sound cannot travel in space, because it has no air to travel through. Touch. Usually when you think of touch, you think of observing how things feel with your fingers. Since we are floating, we are constantly having to touch and grab onto objects, either using our hands or our feet. You can use your feet to walk up here if you carefully hook them under handrails as you go. But this is pretty challenging, so we like to use our hands more than our feet while we're up here. We will often use our hands to move along and carry objects with our legs. Thanks for learning about the five main senses with me today. Start thinking about your five senses and how they help you observe and adapt to your environment down on Earth. See you next time. Subscribe for more space.